Welcome back to another Collider video recap of Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm Will Link, and this is the mid-season, the season three, mid-season finale, winter finale, Maveth, which is, uh, is not, not a planet. planet. It's death. It's, it's a Hebrew death. word for death. And uh, helping me break this down, to my left, as always. Hey, guys. I'm Aaron Fenton, rocking the Christmas Leia. Look, uh. the first look I was going for, I was telling these guys were uh, vetoed and I wasn't supposed to wear it today, so I went with this. Also, I made a delicious treat for you boys today. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's uh -oh. a raspberry cream cheese coffee cake. Whoa. I made it last night when I watched Conan so the much. Barbarian for is the first it, time. Does it have nuts and in it? Inspired no, you? No, no nuts. Yes. No nuts. It's raspberry and it has a cream cheese frosting. This was inspired by Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, I was bored last night, so I just baked and then wa watched Conan. Come on, get to Aaron, your mouth. Aaron, what is best in life? <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> Asian. <laughs> there it is. There you go. Welcome to the Agents of Shield baking uh, <laughs> recap. Uh, so what you're gonna want to do? You're gonna want two cups of sugar. Um, as we eat this delicious yes. thing, why don't we continue with? Yes, our let's do that, guys. Oh. My name is Michael Medina. I'm loving the Leia thing. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited. I just realized Star Wars is next week. I can't <laughs> stop thinking about it. I'm going crazy. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I mean, Star Wars is cool, I guess. Um, no, <laughs> what's up, guys? I'm Josh Makuga. Just had a bite of that delicious pastry, Good. and I'd like to say. As they say in literature, quoth the maven, nevermore. Oh, see what I did there, guys? Come on, it's the episode. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Pretty terrible. Yeah. Pretty just, You're welcome. Pretty <laughs> terrible. Not this. No. Not this. This is delicious. That okay, was good. that was the link that of introduction. Was, yeah. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, let's just get right to this. Because this uh, there was a lot of hype coming into this. We had talked about We knew something big was going to happen. We knew somebody was going to die in some way in this episode. And... Uh, Basically, everyone's now on the planet here sure. looking for, I guess, are we calling this thing Maveth? Because uh, uh, Malik refers to it like almost by name as death, this yeah. new inhuman creature. We all know who it is. It's the hive. And the, I was telling them about it. Uh, the hive is basically uh, like a creature, like a symbiotic creature that takes over um, hosts bodies and then uh, becomes them basically like whatever just yeah lives in their bodies and it's like a tentacle-ish like creature so like a like hydra like what uh, the hydra it's what, symbol yeah is. yeah in like and yeah. in the comics it fights with um the secret they he fights with the secret warriors and uh also he's i don't know i guess in the comics they were he was made by hydra for the mm -hmm. to be the image of what hydra wanted to be Okay. I guess sense. there you go. It was, it, was, it was built in Hydra's image. Secrets out. Right. Yeah. It was built in Hydra's image rather than Hydra being built in his image. Yeah, that's what the dis yeah basically okay. it was. Okay. And there's the scene, you know, like in the show when you get they get to that ridge and the guy drops to his knees like hail Hydra, yeah. and you can see the. Well, yeah, yeah, the exactly. Statue of it. This yeah. was the statue of it. And I think they're changing the hive like yeah. to fit this story. Um, so I don't know. Meaning what else. he was probably like the supreme being of that ancient civilization yeah. Yeah. and that they all hailed him. He was kind of like I would mentor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, Michael. Um, I know, Josh, you were thrilled to be back on that planet. God, I here's the thing. I I like the the uh, process of going onto the planet. I love going through the portal. Yeah. I love that whole thing. It's a really cool effect, and I like it. But couldn't we have made that planet just like a different color? That blue <laughs> just messes with my eyes Maybe so purple. much. I hate watching it. Yeah, purple, <laughs> a pinkish hue. With George Costanza. The I Hill don't. Grape comes by in the I, purple planet. Yeah, like I don't. I just it, it was annoying, but. I will say this was this was way less annoying than the whole Gemma episode of this planet. Just visually, um, for visually you, because you're on it less and yes. less. Yeah. But yeah. I kind of agree with you with the blue. I didn't mind it the other time we were on the planet, but this time I, it did bother my eyes. Really, blue. it did. <laughs> okay, maybe I you, I maybe you adjusted to it maybe in I, the in the in the Simmons episode, but in this one, keep going back to this harsh blue. Yeah. It was. I don't. Know. Apparently I'm in the minority, I guess. I was fine with that. I don't know, yeah, it doesn't actually, bother me. I'll be honest with know. you, it doesn't bother me either. But. It didn't bother me the first time, but it bothered me a little bit sure. today. Maybe it's because you were complaining so loud when we were watching it, and I was like, oh, I feel for you. So, Jesus, is it that bad? I'll, I'll leave the show. I'll take my raspberry strumpet and go home. 
So uh, it was interesting seeing them all on this planet, and it was kind of, for a second, it was kind of fun hearing Ward talking to Fitz as if they were working together. It kind of had flashbacks to season one when they were actually part of a team. Um, But Fitz is there with a whole other agenda. He's got to get Will. I don't know what he was thinking, by the way, when he tried to reach for that gun. Like, that was really lazy and stupid on his part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, he, almost immediately he goes after Ward's gun. Like, almost immediately right when they get there. Hey, Ward, could I have your gun? <laughs> like, he just might as well ask for it. Yeah. Here's the thing. Let's say somehow he had overpowered Ward in that moment. <laughs> There's a whole team of guys yeah. with guns who would have just lay waste to him. That's like a classic MacGruber move. Or like Starsky and Hutch. He's like, he just like throws the gun around his back or something ridiculous. Like, I like that he made move. a move to try to kill Ward rather than... Uh, like, <laughs> well, yeah. no. It, it, his move is going to find Will. The, the cool move the he Coulson does is do jumping down into yeah. the into Will's yes. hole. And that's <laughs> yeah. if that was his plan all along, him reaching for the gun made no sense. Then, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just, so a little moment. I, I mean, that just screams like the writers, like, oh, we need an action beat here. Yeah. For a <laughs> but then he does get down there with Will, and Will's injured. Yeah. And I remember when we first saw Will injured, you actually turned to me and you asked. Did we see him get mm-hmm. hurt in the last episode? Yeah, and we yeah. hadn't. Yeah. The last image we saw was him like looking at the sunset, but we now know that wasn't really well. Yeah. But Spoiler we kind of talked about that the last <laughs> episode, right? We were like, oh, he's dead. He might be dead. He's probably dead. He's probably dead. He's dead. <laughs> it's a good idea. He's dead. I mean, something maybe that floated, but I don't think we were really sure. We, no, we but, weren't sure. We yeah. weren't sure. Yeah. I, you know who I think was pretty sure it wasn't really well? Ward. Because yeah. he has that conversation with him where he's asking all these questions about how did you survive and how did you, oh, you adapt, oh, you're like me. Uh, yeah. You know, which also then he's really like him later in the episode. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Ward from the beginning kind of smelled a rat there. Yeah. yeah. But then again, it is Ward. He doesn't really trust anyone. No. You know? but, but I, I did like with, with Ward talking to Fitz to show that like, yeah, okay, Ward is a bad guy and he's ultimately a villain and kind of heartless and spineless and a killer but there is like a cool little moment there when when he's human yeah. and I like that he was a human being and that he was talking to Fitz and they were like trying to get it because at the end of the day when they're on this blue planet they are working together yeah. even though Fitz has other motives it, there is a, a cool little moment of them walking together and, and that kind of shows the human side of of Ward, which I liked. Yeah, that's why he works so well as a, as a villain because yeah. we see glimpses of that humanity yeah. in this episode. Then the last one about how he really didn't like he doesn't want to be the one to physically hurt Simmons and stuff like that. You try to place the-, the blame on him. It's gonna be you. <laughs> How are you gonna, how are you gonna live with it if I yeah. never make it off this planet? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he also I also love when they first get to Will how he's giving. Uh, fits some crap about that, like the oh, like maybe you want to <laughs> shoot this guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny, wasn't it? Really sad. You didn't like it when uh, when Simmons, when everyone came back off the like the blow up planet, whatever, and she goes straight to the the capsule <laughs> to look for Will, and she cries on. I know Fitz. this wasn't a holiday moment, but that's like when you go through all of your Christmas presents and you didn't get that Christmas present <laughs> yeah. you wanted. <laughs> And you're like, but I want a snowboard. And your mom's like, couldn't afford a snowboard. You're out this year. And you're like, oh, crap. I guess I'll settle for this lone book that you got. And, you know, <laughs> Fitz is the book. <laughs> Will is the snowboard. Yeah. Handsome Joe Astronaut didn't come didn't back. Didn't make it back. No. But again, it's like you have to like, it so just pisses sad. me off the whole like the way Fitz is being treated. I'm like, dude, yeah. wake up, man. Yeah. Seriously. Well, the whole like Fitzsimmons relationship is playing in the background of a lot of this episode because then even Fitz and Will have this great little conversation about like oh, this must be hard for you and everything and and you know when it turns out that it's not really will that's then it's this creature even messing with fits at this point <laughs> you do feel bad for yeah for fits and yeah i did feel really bad that when they came back that simmons didn't race right into Fitz's arms yeah. first because thank god you're alive yeah. and i'm sure will will come around the corner any second no she should went right to yeah, that yeah. was really messed up. He's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really was. Yeah, he comes in second every time for every her. Every time, and it's never gonna change. And she's gonna be too heartbroken to yeah. even start anything with him. And I feel bad. The for writers him. are just in the writers' room, going like, 
what other handsome guy can we bring in that Simmons <laughs> is going to like more than Fitz to really just keep this well, just friend zone thing Ward going? Ward is going to come back, and it's not going to be Ward. It's going to be this other creature, and he's going to be like, hey, remember when you and Will and me. Do you think he's going to get close enough to them to do that? I think he's going to fuck people. Like, like, I think he's going to mess with them. But, yeah, definitely. You know, but he's going to get Gemma. Oh, maybe because he has mind control stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Do you guys? How do you guys even feel about Fitz and Simmons even getting together now? Because at this point, well, I don't even think I want to see that now. Well, you know what? You know? It, it's <laughs> Fitz is never going to be able to live up to Joe Handsome Master not because <laughs> this man, this man died for her. Yeah, mm -hmm. he gave the ultimate sacrifice. So Fitz, the only way Fitz could top him is dying yep. to save Simmons. Yeah. And I know some some people on on the comments were like, "No, no, they she loves Fitz. She loves Fitz." Well, I feel like this move at the end of this Absolutely. that she still looks at him as. Kind best of friend. The, yeah. And, you know, maybe she thinks, like, well, maybe I should be with my best friend. And maybe they will end up together, but it'll be a loveless marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. It'll be like every I teen agree. movie where it's like, oh, but I love him like a brother. And you're like, ugh. It would have been to like in, school. in Pretty in Pink if she ended up with Ducky. Correct. It would be the same thing. Correct. Fitz is Ducky. <laughs> yes, Fitz is 100% Ducky. You like yes. Pretty in Pink? Of course I like Pretty in Pink. It's a good movie. Yeah. He's a <laughs> human movie. being. Oh, How can you not like Pretty in Pink? Come on. <laughs> That's Molly Ringwald at her finest for Christ's sake. Oh my God. So the other person on this planet this whole time, before we get to the rest of the team outside of the yeah, planet, yeah. the other person on this planet is Coulson. And I loved the beginning of when we see Coulson in this episode because, you know, he had hit his head and he was passed out and he has this kind of vision of 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 Roslyn, so I got to see Roz one more time. Oh, one, one more time, time. And, just for you, bud. And, uh, and, and so did he, and she kind of tells him, like, you gotta get up, and he, he gets up, and I thought there was a nice little visual cue of he's next to a skeleton. Yeah, when it, it, it's it kind of, I mean, maybe it was on the nose, but I liked it. Like yeah. it worked I liked for it me. Too. I liked uh, it too. So Colson, when we saw that scene, we were kind of debating like, is this a dream or is this just like is is the is that planet the messing with him? Yeah. yeah. Colson was owning this episode. I agree until, with that. Until he hesitated and was like, I need you, Ward, to <laughs> get me to, it. and then he's like, Oh, there they are. That at that point. When he finally sees Fitz and fake Will walking around, he could have just been like, oh, I don't need you anymore. Yeah. Clip, clip. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah, because Coulson, you're right, he was owning the episode because he comes in, uh, makes a great Tatooine joke. Oh, great Tatooine <laughs> joke. Um, then he, he takes out, because uh, Will had taken out some of the, the Hydra yeah. Uh, yeah. men and was on off with Fitz. And then Coulson takes out the rest of them. Yeah. And then, yeah, he keeps Ward alive. It's the classic thing where you you wait too long. He should have just shot him in the face immediately. I mean, he should have. He should have. It didn't make sense after seeing how he reacted last episode. You know what I mean? It wouldn't make sense that he would just be like, oh, I guess we can hold you off a little right. bit longer. Just, he you know. had the moment. He could have killed him. And yeah. like the way he re like went off on, on, on Hunter. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. Hunter. Yeah. Hunter. Yeah. yeah. He was choking. He went on yeah. after yeah. everybody. Punched the wall. And I'm really mad that he didn't use his iron fist the way I really wanted him to. I mean, he eventually like pressed on his chest. Which and, like, was a pretty awesome moment. That it was, was cool. great. Yeah. It was great. But like the whole time I wanted him to like just break his jaw like with his iron fist. I wanted yeah. him to like. They're a little inconsistent some... with that, you know, yeah. because again, if you can like crack his sternum or punch a wall or whatnot with that fist, he should just like, there were some scenes when he punched Ward in the face. That should have knocked him out. Straight mm -hmm. out. Yeah. 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 But I mean, you know, in Home Alone 2, he hits him in the head with three bricks from a third story walk up and that and Daniel Stern's still walking around. No, I think the only movie or TV show that has ever done that kill scene, right, where it's like they finally get to the big bad, the person they've been tracking the whole movie and they clip him right away is John Wick. So yeah. like that, yeah. I wanted that John Wick moment right there for Coulson to just go in and be like, oh, good to see you. Ward. Done. All right. I'm going to go find Fitz yeah. and get to the portal. That's all yeah. you needed to do. I, I mean, I don't know if we're being too nitpicky because the nature of television, nature True. of storytelling, yeah. we do want to have him around. I just thought maybe there could have been a stronger reason than, yeah. I mean, Coulson was able to track them down to begin with. Why does he need Ward to track him, yeah, uh, exactly. to, to help he him track to, to Fitz? Also, I'm kind of like weird because all the the interviews that we read and, and that I, I watched like said that it was going to be a giant reveal that everybody, there was going to be something that everyone hated. I'm and guessing I'm guessing that's Ward coming back. Well, was that, well, that Ward or coming? I'm thinking it could be the that's whole Will thing. The Will turning will? out to be dead I mean, and this 
you know, that's awesome. Hide or whatnot. Yeah, but, I mean, I think it was a cool twist. I didn't hate it, well, but, but I'm yeah, also not I like it was a big like, will fan. It didn't connect everything yeah. together, and I'm like, this isn't like as shocking as I was led to believe. Well, wasn't Brett Dalton one of the people who said that in the interview? Yeah. I mean, I guess from his point of view, I mean, Ward is dead now. Yeah. Yeah. I he's mean, dead. he's back, but it's not Ward anymore. Yeah. So maybe, I mean, if he was the one saying this in the interview, you know, well, I mean, the fans was, are going to hate it, I'll be dead. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's I mean, I, I, I get that. And I mean, I could see where people are going to be upset. I, I've been saying a lot on these shows that I had a feeling Ward was going to die at some point this season because you can't keep a big bad like this around forever. Right. Rather than totally kill him, they kind of made him an even bigger bad, or at least the actor will get to play an even bigger bad, the Hive. But... Uh, I could see where people are going to miss Ward because of what we were saying before. He is such a good villain. Yeah. And, and he's been with the show since the start. We right. talked Which about is, this in the last episode. And, and do you guys still feel like that way? Do you feel sad that he's dead and he, but he gets, the actor still gets to play a different uh, I am a little sad. Guy? Because, yeah. yeah, I think we all agree we love Ward. And yeah. it's like, he's one of those villains that I think because, like you said, you know, he's been there since day one. I would like to see him a little bit longer. I think you could always drag him out. Maybe like, he could kind of be like their, their, their team's joker. Doesn't yeah. really go away, but you know he goes away for like a but, season or two and then comes back. Yeah, I think this will be this end of this season will be the actor's last stint on the show. He's gonna. I mean, you can't keep the the googly monster around forever. Yeah, no. you can't keep that. And the second it's, it, he's my, gonna body hop. The yeah. second it leaves you, yeah. you're just gonna be your like the you're, dead husk of a human dust. being. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is interesting. So I guess it was always. So when we were when we were talking about we were making jokes about like the uh, what the Dementors or whatever. Right, 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 right. So that was just some other guy who had been. I think that's like the the body, his spirit body or something like that. I think I mean I don't know this for sure, but maybe he the only way that the the googly monster or hive or <laughs> we're, we're calling him can get into somebody is if the body is dead. Okay. Yeah. Because Will is dead. He died yeah. saving Gemma. So this guy can't really kill you. Well, the right? hive was like had sacrifices made to right. him, and then he would. And the like, Dementors in Harry Potter bodies. don't kill; they just like steal your soul. Mm -hmm. They keep stealing your soul, and then uh, obviously uh, Ward is dead. So they and the and the hive took over Ward's body. So I think in order for the body, you know, for him to leave the body and take over another body, he has to be dead. I don't know exactly how they kill Hive though, because you know, like in the movie The Thing, which is basically sort of what this thing is, they just leave that they leave Antarctica, and the thing is yeah. still there. Yeah. Yeah. So it never really goes away. Hmm. So here's my question for you guys. Do you think that this was, or at the last scene we see Malik sees Ward there, but he's he's the Hive. Yeah. Do you think that this was Malik's plan all along? That he wanted to use, he knew what yeah. it was, and he wanted Ward to be the vessel for that? That's yeah. why he was insistent on sending Ward? Yes. I think it could have gone either way. I think, A... He was like, all right, well, this will, if it doesn't work out, then Ward's out of my hair. So I don't mm -hmm. have to worry about him because that's really his biggest threat. Mm -hmm. Or B, this could work out and we actually get this embodiment of Hydra back I mean, through Ward. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, but I don't know. I, I always, like when we were talking about it last episode, um, I thought that that was exactly the case. He said he wasn't a warrior. Ward is. And because the Hive is uh, like him now, he, whatever Ward could do, the Hive could do. It's like his extension of whatever Ward's limitations are is, is his. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, don't, I agree. I agree okay. that. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I mean, we kind of mentioned it last week, and, like almost glazed over a little bit, but there was a thought amongst the group that this was sort of Malik's plan was yeah. to do yeah, exactly to what you just and said. And it did mean it came into his progression. This guy, he's got, I mean, he knows what he's doing. He's a criminal. I mean, he's a mastermind of this whole situation. Yeah. And I think yeah. Ward figured it out too, and he finally accepted it. Like there was this moment where he kind of goes, I'm like peaceful. This is it. Like I'm part of a bigger plan. I understand You're finally. A, he has this very uh, philosophical moment yeah. on the planet mm -hmm. yeah, that was very uh, kind of unlike Ward in a lot yeah. of ways. Yeah, he like accepted it. He, he had like a God moment, like a or come to Jesus moment rather. And he was just, he accepted it. I think he knew he what knew he was. Like he was supposed to be the vessel. He was he's expecting maybe not to die, but to become one with the thing. I don't know. He was the sacrifice. Um, I love, yeah. though, the, uh, well, I guess he was the sacrifice because he then was. it had to be taken off. But I mean, 
I love the way Colson did kill him. I know we brought it up before, but I feel like it's worth mentioning again how he crushes him <laughs> yeah. with the hand. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that was a pretty cool way to do it. And we yeah. finally, maybe that's why they've been holding back the hand power so much. They wanted maybe. to save it for a nice little showy moment when he crushes his his chest. Yeah. Still, I would have liked to see him do awesome things with his hands. So I'm sure so that they'll I didn't like, like come out of the blue. some sort of new hand for Coulson this time. It'll maybe it'll be like a hook or something. Yeah, I can cool. totally see them now like doing like, you know, Iron Fist 2.0. Mm-hmm. You know, and we'll mm-hmm. get like rocket punches and just lasers Robotics or whatever. Yeah. Cool well, story. if I'm not mistaken, I think one of our questions involves the hand. So I okay. think we'll get oh, back okay. to some of the hand, yeah. some hand theories later. <laughs> but there was a whole other group of people, the rest of the S.H.I.E.L.D. team in yes. this episode back on planet Earth. And basically, the whole team came together, and Mac was taking charge. He's like, we're going to go in there. We're going to do it like on the down low. Mac and we're killed gonna... it this episode. He was he good. Did. Mac was, was pretty damn great in yeah. this episode. And everybody comes in to the thing. Meanwhile, Simmons is able to escape. Yeah. Uh, you know. In her sultry ways. I was <laughs> With Flash's help. Yeah. Well, she. I love that he just killed everybody. I love yeah. that moment. I was like, yes. yeah, of course he did. Yeah. No, here's he the thing, everybody. though. And again, I'm just, I'm always so like, mm, I don't know. We didn't see him kill. We assume he killed them all. Do, we, do we know for everyone. sure? I, yeah. Well, we have to assume. The- obviously, well, yeah. May you, reports it, and I trust May. I trust May, too. So I think. We don't see it, but I thought the scene when May does go in to see the Inhumans was actually really well done. It was really creepy. It reminded yeah. me of Alien. Yeah, yes. I yes. thought that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So me I too. thought that was really great. Um, do you think Simmons made the right move letting Lash out? You know what? I probably would have done it. I probably would have done it too. Yeah. Really? Yeah. In the moment. Yeah. You know, it worked out. I mean, yeah. I'm Long other, term. Otherwise, so I'm going to be killed by Hydra. She's going to have that guilt though. Of like, oh, I killed all of them because I let Lash out. Oh man, yeah, you're right. That's gonna happen. It's Damn, happening. I don't want to see yeah. that. And she's but gonna have to see talk that. to her inhuman teammates, right. like <laughs> like Daisy and Lincoln. You were always and from, against yeah. us. And what's she Melt? What's Meltman's name? Meltman. Uh, is he uh, Joey? Uh, oh, Joey. Yeah, Joey. Yeah. Meltman. Meltman. Ethnic he had, Ward. What? He's ethnic, ethnic, ethnic Ward. Yeah. Ethnic Ward. He had a great moment in the fight too, where he bullets. Yeah, he, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Melts the bullets. Yeah, that was awesome. And you, as right the second before it happened, you you called it. You screamed yeah. it out like he's yeah. gonna melt the bullets. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Um, Joey actually was kind of a fun addition to this because we got to see going into a mission through a new person's eyes right. and everything like that. Uh, he's scared, and then Lincoln's like, "No, we're all scared. We're all freaked." <laughs> and May's like. Bite me. <laughs> yeah, May was great because the way she said, "I'm not." It was so like, mm-hmm. "I'm not." Don't lump me in with you idiots. Like it was so like yeah. disgusted by that. You are afraid to die? Yeah, <laughs> basically, it's awesome. Um, so now they have two enemies. Now they have Lash and they have this Hive slash Ward back still to, Hydra. Back to square one. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, look, it, like I said, I think it was the right move letting Lash out in that moment. You know, maybe you just hope he clears out of there because there's enough gun, there's enough fighting. But no, instead he decides to stick around and slaughter every <laughs> yeah. human. That's and, over again. and that's interesting. We're not going to see Andrew anymore, correct? Like it's only going to be Lash because they mentioned that uh, his that transformation. That. I think we still might see Andrew at least because yeah. I know they did say this eventually will become permanent, but I don't think it's going to be permanent yet. I yeah. like that actor. Blair Underwood. Blair Underwood's so great. I, yeah. yeah, I hope that he think sticks around. Let me talk about Lincoln for a second. Oh, let's do that. Um, Here's your 30 seconds <laughs> on well, Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln went out. I hate to give him credit, <laughs> but he was making the right call in that moment. He's like, listen, maybe we should just, I'm always like, maybe I'm too pragmatic with these shield <laughs> things, but he, we should destroy this because we can't risk what's coming back. Right. Yeah. And I think they came to a good compromise of where Mac was going to be. But no, at the end of the day, it didn't work. Anyway, actually, Lincoln had the right call because yeah. now they're going to have to deal with uh, Hive Ward. Right. Yeah. So Lincoln was actually, for once, making a call that I agreed with. Yep. I thought Gemma was going to jump on that bandwagon, too, because she was all for Fitz, not, you know. <laughs> no, because Will was still there. She Will needed Will. She needed Will. The, screw oh, Fitz. God, so Will. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were all pretty upset when she did. Wow. 
I mean, it just burn, past. right? It's like watching right? the whole thing. Everybody's, it's like Love Actually and <laughs> and Fitz. I'm throwing holiday references out here, guys. Uh, it's it's like Love Actually. Everybody's meeting their lover in the airport, and there's like Fitz just drinking out of a water fountain. <laughs> He's like, oh, this airport water fountain's terrible. And there's you know Daisy and Link. They're making out and like uh, tall blondie Mc hot pants and and Bobby. Uh, uh, yeah Bobby and um and and, and yeah and they're like yeah we love each other and then like you know may and colson even have like a nice look even though they're not but they like they get it and then there's they get that going kitty like, hug get that kitty hug like five yeah. minutes later yeah the kitty hug's yeah. like oh, you tried you tried you're never getting laid bro yeah he's just standing there alone yeah i yeah. really do think that so sad. if if this if it's not the writer's intention to make us think that fits will always be second fiddle then that i mean I think it has to be because there's no way they can be putting this in there. Yeah. And Fitz, the character Fitz is a virgin. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like is that Let's, why he's trying you know so what? hard? Sometimes, sometimes, to be the hero? That. <laughs> sometimes I would put a pin on that, but no, I kind of want to. I want to know what you think. Do you think he's a virgin? Because I guess you do. I think he had like an awkward moment in college, and <laughs> uh, like where it almost happened, and she had braces, and it was really weird and uncomfortable, and it didn't really ha like no, pan I out. I think he was like a high school band geek. He was like oversexed <laughs> at 15, 16. No, he was like doing all like the sexy stuff with all the tech geeks, and then he got to college. He was like, I'm gonna come back i don't want to be slutty fits anymore and then he like, <laughs> found the girlfriend she burned him for like a cooler handsome joe astronaut scientist and now he like he found Gemma. that's the one he's holding out for and it was going terribly how much would you have loved it if it if it's just he had done what we wanted colson to do and just shot will in the face yeah, yeah. <laughs> you would have you would have went nuts yeah like oh you're will crack 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 that was that's the whole Gemma. he's coming there just to eliminate the competition yeah. okay let's get back to the world of 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 uh Real Agents of Shield reality <laughs> here. Um, I did think though Mac was great when he took charge, and that moment where he's like, "That was that was that was an order." Yeah, yeah. that was a good scene. Mm -hmm. but it was, was a great a moment for him, and I think Mac this season has come uh, a long way. I I love him this season. I was glad to see him become the director finally. It was it was a weird shot after he like made it an order. He looked at the thing. They had this like weird <laughs> shot of like his side man peck. I don't know if you guys man noticed peck. that like no. his like shirt was real and the camera was like right here and I was like oh, that was a weird shot. I I noticed weird <laughs> things like that. I'm sorry. Hey. <laughs> so we didn't know who got out when he makes mm -hmm. the order to to basically blow the place. And I, I thought that was actually a good little moment of tension because I was thinking, oh, did they do it before? Are those guys going to be stranded back mm -hmm. on the planet who got out? And, you know, they all got out, but right. still. <laughs> I, I, it was cool. I, it was I did cool. I thought yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a good moment of tension. Uh, some other good comedy and Hunter has been so funny. All He's spot fun on, on this show. Mm -hmm. The whole like waving his hand like, oh. There we are. That's yeah. us. You're That's welcome. Us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really loved that moment. There were so many good individual moments of the team fighting together. Some of them were funny like that. Some of them were, were badass, like the bullets melting. I, I thought this was a great episode for the team. Yeah. yeah. And a really good use of the ticking clock, literally and figuratively. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? Really well done. Yeah. The, all of that worked really well. Um, yeah. I, I I I think that might be basically yeah it. So, yeah. Did you have anything? Oh you no no, no to I was just gonna before? say no. I think that's yeah pretty much. I thought this was pretty solid. I, yeah. I didn't like. I think I kind of like last week's a little bit better. But I did too. Yeah yeah, but like, nonetheless, I really enjoyed this. I episode. was a big fan of like the this two episode arc. Yeah yeah. yeah. This could have been a two hour yeah uh, you're right. uh, 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 finale. mid season finale, yeah. and it would have been a, a great episode. Agreed. Instead, it's two individual great episodes. Yeah, I think I like the closure episode a little bit more, mm. uh, probably because it had a little. I don't know. Maybe I like some of the ward stuff in that a little bit more. Plus, I, I felt like there was tension angry. throughout the whole episode. Yeah. You know, and this not this had its moments as well. But yeah. Okay, so I guess also one last thing I just wanted to say about that. I guess. Get, opening portals is kind of done now that they blew everything to hell. You right? would think, yeah. But who knows? He, they keep finding these things. Yeah, we all, let's not forget think, that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying, Fitz did discover that ancient city. You know, we're going to go yeah. back to that at some point. That's true. That's cool. You know, that's so true. that's not going away. Yeah, and also too is they may have blown that up, but like you know, in anything like that, we don't see physical evidence of it all blowing up. So there could be remnants of it, and we have Quakes McGee who can open it up. Quakes McGee, and sure. and. Uh, you know, Hydra could isn't really pursuing the portal anymore because they already pretty much they have, have what they want. Correct. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, well, let's go to some of these uh, Twitter questions. Remember, you can ask us questions at the hashtag Collider AOS. So what do we have first from Dylan Esposito? Where do you think the Lash Andrew storyline is leading up to? Will May end up killing him? Aaron, what are you? You're a uh, big on the Inhumans here and upcoming yeah. storylines. So I mean, think? I think he's he's just going to be a big villain for the Secret Warriors. He's just going to be another one of those guys. And I don't think that May's going to kill him or try to kill him a second time. I think she was going back out, out there to try to give him a second chance because she's really in love with him. Um, but I think he's just going to go out there, keep killing people who are unworthy. And so when May was looking for him, you don't think she was looking to take him out? No, she already knew that bullets can't stop him. He's like the Hulk. Yeah, basically. but I mean, they can hurt him. They can yeah. hurt him, but I, I definitely think she went back because she told, she told Gemma that he wasn't her mission and uh, they had to leave. And then she thought of it again and went back to go check on him hoping that maybe he would be the man that she still loved to bring back because you know he did save oh. Gemma and oh. then she was like oh you just had a party and killed everyone I was just doing the Karate Kid theme song that's all <laughs> I don't know I, I think if he somehow is done and he's going to be lashed from here on out I mean I think if you want to make it very impactful you kind of have to have make you know, finish him off. Because, yep. again, it's just like, yeah, like you said, that's the man she loved, but she's also, we're talking about May here. She will get the job done. Always. You know, right? And so if that's what happened, I mean, she shot the man, and she wasn't sure she if it was going to kill him or not. And he shot you know? him. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to have an old yeller kind of moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> take him out back? <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, they're going to develop some sort of weapon that can take down Lash. The the inhumans that work for S.H.I.E.L.D., they're all going to develop something or figure out a, a weakness to the man. And then May's going to be like, no. Let me do it. He was my dog. And then take him out back and crack, crack, crack. You know? I mean, I think it's going to be the new Gemma Fitz relationship. It's like, oh, I want to be with him, but I can't be with him because he's a monster and maybe we can change him. But well, we can't. that's why I, I believe. <laughs> that's not really the Fitz Simmons relationship. Well, kind of. The like, Fitz Simmons like, relationship is like, I, I love over. her. She likes handsome Joe Astronaut. It's not going to work. He's an inhuman killing everybody and yeah. she's just a hot, badass agent. And the thing is, too, we, talk, we are talking about May. May's very. I don't want to say she's cold, but again, she's very to the point. She's I just not don't... exactly warm. Exactly. So <laughs> no. I don't see her being like Simmons, like, oh, I don't know, I love. I think she would, you know, she'd have to do what needs to get done. <laughs> okay. Yep. Right. Well, I mean, that's another reason why I don't think we've seen the last of Blair Underwood as his it, character, because yeah. there has to be a moment where him and May talk again on some level. Or there's like the moment of they capture him again and they try and actually change him back into an actual human being yeah yeah i don't or, think that's gonna happen though i don't know i guess anything so you, could happen well do you show, think the season I, ends with like lash I mean, dying he could die and i think that that's definitely a possibility everything like the series is going so fast now um and they're just ending they're just tying up loose ends and like ending storylines and like pushing through other ones really quickly so he i mean he could die uh, I, I wouldn't cry about it because basically they told us that Blair Underwood is not going to be there forever. It's just going to be Lash. There's no crying in S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> now the, um, you know, you have Lash and you have uh, now Hive Ward. Sure. Uh, I think he's going to be the big bad. But Hive Ward isn't, he's going to be the big bad, but I, he, he's like, I, I'm not as threatened by Hive Ward as I am Lash. Oh, he's yeah. not as, be, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, but what is, I mean, when they were fighting him on the planet, I mean, it was just like fighting a dude. Yeah. True. I mean, he couldn't die, because but it wasn't... The thing is, with, Hi with Hive, he has um, all the powers of his host and all the limitations of his host. Uh, his host was okay. weak, and he was, you know, he yeah. was... So just that now that his guy, host astronaut. is strong, he'll be able to use... He'll be stronger. He and could... he had an open wound on his leg that was showing his bone. True. Yeah. And so what happens if he has Lash's host body? Mm -hmm. Well, also too, maybe they go back through the portal to the to the ancient civilization. They find a good version yeah. of the spaghetti monster, <laughs> and they bring him back to fight Ward. I mean, I don't, I don't know. want That's, them to come back. I don't. I think that here's my fear. Die. My fear with Ward, though, real quick, is that. Which ward are we going to see now? Because I love Ward. Because I love how You're not, it's not going to be the same Ward. That's my fear though, because Ward is so great at like being a you know evil. And but I there see that. was a blend of Will's personality Correct. in I'm there. Saying, so, okay. just thinking the same so thing. maybe we'll see more of old Ward than we think. I but hope there, so. but there also has to be a radical change. Otherwise, what was the point? Correct. Yeah. All right, what do we got next here? It's from Zags. Uh, why did <laughs> Why did Coulson leave his hand behind? Thanks, Zags. 
Appreciate that. <laughs> um, Mike, why did Colson leave his hand? I have mind? no idea. Just to further a plot, I guess. I mean, I saw no reason <laughs> But you were kind of talking that. about yeah, the idea know. that this will lead to a more badass hand. Exactly, maybe. exactly. But again, for him to actually leave it on the planet made no sense. But from a writing perspective, they probably figured, oh, well, now he needs a new hand. So now he can get one bigger and better. Like a comedian dropping the mic. I don't know. Right? <laughs> I didn't like that either. I, I thought maybe the writers were trying to get him to go, Oh, I killed Ward with my hand and I can't like have it on me anymore. I don't know. I, I felt like that's But you know what? I actually buy that and I actually kind of like that. You I do. And I'll tell you why because he will have he used this to avenge the death of his one true love, Rosalind. And it's no longer <laughs> part of them. Now, every time he looks at that hand, he's going to remember what he did with this hand. It's going to sure. be this horrible memory it's going to bring back all these thoughts of a lost love it's going to be Correct. bring back the thoughts of ward this this person that he was had all these these vengeful feelings towards so i think that's really the emotional reason why he left the hand there. he left it behind because ward was dead and he was done and that's all yeah. and also too is you needed it for that final shot to reveal that it was ward yeah. Yeah. which was which was cool though yeah it was, it was good. Dope. i like that yeah i like yeah. that last shot with it yeah. So, okay, what and is I, Ward going to do with the hand? Well, Ward's not going to do anything with the hand. It's <laughs> just slap you in the face. I guess. <laughs> well, no, wait, maybe he's going to... Yeah, I mean, maybe he does use it in some way against Coulson at it's some point. like or, Indiana Jones in the last crusade. These are not yeah, tapestries. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it's some clue that gets left behind and someone on S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to be like, wait a second, we yeah. found Coulson's I hope it, hand. If it's the clue, I hope it's just like one middle finger like up. and uh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, then he Tommy leaves Blake. that man and they'll be yeah. like, something's come, something else got yeah. through. How dare you, sir? <laughs> okay, okay, we got All one right. more here. And this is from the Don. Which character takes the MVP of the show for the first part of this season so far? I really like this question. Josh, why don't you start with this? Um, you know, I'm going to say Ward. Mm hmm. Um, and I hope I didn't like steal your guys's, but I, I always, I root for the bad guy a lot, um, depending on the bad guy and Ward is the kind of bad guy that he kind of gets it. He's, he's devious. He's a killer, but he's also, like we said before, he's a human being. And I just, there's something about Ward I just really like that one punch scene in like episode two or three when he just walks in and he's like, crack, crack, crack. and I was like, I mean, he one punches everybody. <laughs> He seemed to have, he seemed to steal the scene in every episode and every scene that he was in this midseason. I would agree with that. Season, I, yeah. He does steal every moment he's had so far mm -hmm. this this year. Yeah. No, that Horrible that's mine also. Though. Oh yeah. That's mine also because I mean, like I said before, I loved his progression from season one to where I thought he was just whatever to now he's like one of the best villains I've seen on TV. He's just so good. And like I said, I feel like there are a lot of layers to this character. Like you don't really know his agenda, and I like that. Yeah. You know, he's so dangerous, and that's why I'm really hoping that if you know now that he's infected with Hive, I guess. He that he doesn't change too much. We mm -hmm. still get some of those elements of Ward. This was Ward's best season, hands down, I thought. Um, but I did like Hunter. Hunter, I loved the, He was hilarious, and I thought he stole every single scene that he's ever been in. He was definitely the comedic MVP, yeah. Yeah, by yeah. far. Sure. And he, I think will continue to be. like he, He's awesome. He was awesome last season, but this season it's been like kind of a whole <laughs> new level. I think he finally figured out like his character and he's like nailing it every single time. <laughs> he's the I kind of guy him. you yeah. have like 10 beers with and then go out and be like, oh, we got to stop Hydra again. And you're like, oh, I trust him. We're hammered, but that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, I, I think Ward clearly is. But I mean, there are, like you said, honorable mentions. Hunter, I, I think Mac is turning into a great character and certainly finished strong. I mean, I like Bobby's come back, like her feeling vulnerable and scared and like not really, mm -hmm. and then getting back into it. Do I like that? I mean, I know we've been a little critical of her, but I mean, Simmons did have a whole episode to carry this season. Yeah. yeah, she did, and she did a really great job of it. I agree. So, you know who I thought was shortchanged in this half season? Daisy. I feel yeah. like, I mean, maybe there was some stuff early on, but I feel like certainly in the last few episodes, she's took a major back seat. I really thought this was going to be, this season was going to really be her coming out party. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we haven't gotten that yet. Now it could just be, you know. It's the next season now. Maybe or the, next, or next, maybe the next half even. Yeah, yeah the next half. You know, half, yeah, just because I think they've done a really good job at fleshing out the rest of the team, like you said, with Hunter. I think last season when we got all the new additions to the team, it was a, a matter of just finding their place. You know, like I think Max starting to come into his own, Hunter starting to come into his own, Bobby's coming into her 
her own. So I think now that you've developed the team, you can now start to focus back on Daisy a well, little like bit. Well, Daisy seemed to be the civil rights leader that nobody was listening to her cause yeah. this whole half season. And I mean, to be fair, you could argue season two is all about her. Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's a reason why we're like, okay, the first half of the season, let's let's build up some other people. And then in the second half, when she's now got a little bit more with, with Joey and Lincoln, a little bit more of a team of inhumans here. I like the moment when Mac told her it was a, my partner. Like, I, you know. Yeah. Lash was great, though. Well, you want to know. Okay, the here's, the, reveal. here's the real MVP. Rosalind. Uh, Rosalind. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think I think we all agree Ward is the MVP. Yeah. And I think the three of us season. can agree that the actual MVP is Lincoln. <laughs> ah, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> and on that note, yeah. Uh yeah. So we're uh, we're wrapped we're here for wrapping a bit. Up yeah. for a little How'd you guys while. like the sweets? Oh, they're I, oh, they're good. I mean, yet. I only had I, a bite because I'm doing the show, and I figured it would be. <laughs> well, I was, in, I was unprofessional. I ate the whole thing, so you guys can show. But I'm going to eat the rest. <laughs> I'm going to get into mine in a second. As as the camera is <laughs> delicious. Stop Thank you very much. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Um, so, Josh. Yeah, uh, you guys can find me at Josh McCuga on Twitter and Instagram here on Collider. Uh, tomorrow uh, is the last episode for the half season of the Arrow recap show, as well as The Walking Dead. We'll be in back in February, and you guys can find me on my YouTube channel, Between the Sheets TV. Guys, you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Michael Alexis, also on Instagram, Mr. Michael Alexis 14. That's Mr. Michael Alexis 14, as well as like what Josh said on the Collider Arrow Recap Show. I'm Aaron Fenton. You can find me at Agent Fenton on Twitter, and I hope you guys have a safe and lovely holiday. Oh, that, was that was sweet. Nice. That was sweet Aww. of you. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. At there it is. The real will link. That had some uh, oomph to it. You can find well, that's the last <laughs> one of the year, the last one of the season. Um, and you know, you can follow me on Twitter. You could learn about my podcast, Will Sean Podcast. If you get, if you want to see more about me in the next couple of months, you go to uh, uh, give that a listen. Um, yeah, but uh, thank you so much for watching this half season and and, and being along with us for this ride. Uh, Ages of Shield comes back March eighth. So hopefully we'll be back here breaking it down for you again. Until then, uh, let Agent Peggy Carter keep you warm at night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we will see you then. <laughs> <laughs>